Hi Crafts and Decor friends! I'm very excited because today we have an amazing tutorial for you. We're gonna make a beautiful miniature bedroom inspired by your favorite Disney princesses. We're gonna make a lot of cool details that would make it fit for a princess. It's gonna be super fun to make, so come and join me! First, we're gonna need some stiff cardboard, different colors of glittery foam, some of this furry fabric, a bit of this cute knitted ribbon with pom-poms, gemstones in different colors, acrylic paints, some of this different type of furry fabric, then some felt fabric, then we printed out this awesome wallpaper design, also we need some of this metallic cardboard, and a little bit of this type of fabric. So let's get started! First thing we're gonna do is grab a ruler and measure and draw with a pen a rectangle on the cardboard. It has to be 35 cm in width and 25 cm in height. Then we need to draw two more rectangles. These ones have to be 20 cm in width and 25 in height. We're gonna cut them following the lines we drew. We're gonna need to use a cutter cause the cardboard is super stiff so ask for the help of a grown-up. So here we have all the pieces that we need. First, two small triangles of 20 cm in width and 25 in height. Then the bigger triangle that is 35 cm in width and 25 in height. And we're gonna be using another one that's 35 in width and 20 in height. Then we're gonna use some clear glue to attach all the pieces. Just spread the glue along the edge like this. Then stick it to the edge of the other piece like this. And we've drawn all the pieces we needed for our bed on the cardboard. First, we need a rectangle of 16 cm in width and 11 cm in height. And also a square with 11 cm in width and height in which we've drawn an arc. So let's cut them with a cutter, like this. And we're gonna need some more pieces for the bed. And you know what to do, let's cut them out. Remember, it's always better to ask for the help of a grown-up. So let's do a recap of all the pieces that we need. First, we have these two pieces of 5 cm in height and 10 cm in width. Then, these two of 15 cm in width and 5 in height. The big square of 10 cm in height and 15 in width. Then the square where we drew the arc, another piece of 16 cm in width and 11 in height. Here we've cut out the inner part of the arc and we're gonna use some clear glue to fix it in place, like this. And now we're gonna assemble our bed. Attach these pieces with a clear glue, spread it along the edges and stick them like this. Then we need to attach these pictures to the head and the foot of the bed. So here's the first one. Then we're gonna attach the arc to the foot of the bed. So spread some clear glue like this and stick it on. I have the feeling that this is gonna look incredible. And let's do the same thing for the head of the bed. We've cut out some parts of it to make it look like a castle. We're gonna use two cardboard rolls to make the towers of our castle. We use a pencil to draw this line on each of them. Then we're gonna draw some squares like this ones we made on the head of the bed. And we're gonna cut out every other square. Now we just need to attach them to the head of our bed. So spread some clear glue on the back of each of the towers and stick them on the headpiece like this. Now let's make a super cute dresser. We're gonna need the next pieces. This one is 8 by 7 cm. These three are 1.5 by 7 cm. This other one is 8 by 3 cm. And these two are 7 by 3 cm. Let's assemble the dresser. We're gonna use some clear glue to attach these three pieces. Just like this. Then do the same with the other one. Then we're gonna use the three smaller pieces for the drawers. Just spread some clear glue and stick them right on the front of the drawer. It's gonna look so cute! And this is what it should look like! It's simply adorable! Now let's make a cool shelf! We need some more pieces of stiff cardboard. We've drawn them here. 
These two pieces are 19 by 3 centimeters. These four pieces of 8 by 3 centimeters. And these two are 3 by 6 centimeters. Now let's cut them out. Now let's make a cool shelf. We need some more pieces of stiff cardboard. These four pieces are 8 by 3 centimeters. These two are 3 by 6 and two of 19 by 3 centimeters. You have to use some clear glue to attach the edges. And keep assembling it. This shelf is gonna have a lot of room, so you can put books and stuffed animals there. Your princesses are gonna love it. And once that we have assembled it, we can attach these pieces for the shelves. So we're gonna place one on each side, like this. And look, now we have a super cool set of shelves for our bedroom. We only need to paint all the lovely furniture we've made. So let's start with the foot of the bed. We're gonna use some of this eggnog yellow acrylic paint and a brush. Try not to leave any black spots. And let's also paint the towers with the same color. Now we're gonna use some baby pink paint for the sides of the bed. It's gonna look fabulous. For castle's gate, we're gonna use a bit of brown acrylic paint and a thin brush. Let's use some bubblegum paint, acrylic paint and a thin brush to paint some cool details on the sides of the bed. A few lines like this are gonna make it look super cute. With a sharpie, we're gonna draw some lines on the gate to give it that wooden look. Just like this. Pretty cool, huh? Let's move on to the dresser. For this, we're gonna be using bubblegum pink and we're gonna paint it all this color. And with an ultra thin brush and some gold copper paint, we're gonna highlight the contours of the drawers, like this. Then we're gonna draw some cute details. A few lines like this will make it look incredible. Wow, it totally looks awesome. But let's give it the final touch with a gemstone right in the middle of each drawer. They will be like the handles. It's time to paint our shelves. We're gonna use this pale rose color. It will match perfectly with the rest of our furniture. Let's add some details to it. With the same copper paint that we used for the dresser, draw a couple of lines like this. We're gonna keep adding cool details to the bed. So, with a few drops of clear glue, we're gonna attach two small pieces of cord to connect the gate with the wall of the castle. Like this. With this furry fabric, we're gonna make a super cute comforter for our bed. On the non-furry side of the fabric, draw a rectangle that is slightly bigger than the bed. Now let's make a pillow. We cut a small piece of this fabric, then glue the sides and left this gap open where we can stuff it. Like this. Now we just need to close it with some clear glue. And here's our lovely pillow. We're gonna use some felt fabric for our room's carpet. It has to be 25 by 35 centimeters. So let's cut it out. Then we're gonna make a super cute rock. We've cut a circle out of the furry fabric. And now we'll glue on some of the needle ribbon with the pompons around it. It's gonna look fantastic. We used some gold glittery foam to make this awesome mirror. You can get the stencil from the internet and cut it out. Now we just need to glue on this shape that we've cut out of the metallic cardboard. It's time to assemble our room. First, we need to fix and place the wallpapers that we've chosen. Here we have this super cool design, and for the bigger wall, we have this landscape with a castle. Now we just have to paint the walls and decorate a bit. So let's hang some pictures on the wall. Here's a pretty cool one, and this other one is gonna look so sweet too. On this white glittery foam, we've drawn this crown that is gonna be a coat rack. So let's cut it out. Then we're gonna decorate it with some gemstones that we're gonna stick on each of the crown tips. And here we have everything we've made for our fantastic princess bedroom. But it looks a bit messy. So let's put everything in place. We also printed out a few windows to make her room look super realistic. 
And now our mini bedroom is ready! I can't believe how cute it is! Here we have the shelf, the awesome bed, the dresser and the mirror! And the coat rack! And that was it for today! Let us know in the comments below if you liked this video and if you would like to see us make more thematic mini rooms. Share this video with all your friends so they can make their own mini bedrooms too! Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel! Ring the bell so you don't miss out any of our future videos! We love you so much! See you next time! Bye! Oh, <laughs>